what's going on guys and welcome back it's your boy demon here hope you all understand evil and majestic and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to really earn money out of missions on GTA 5 and this is of course after all the DLC updates let's see if we can see what one we are here I think it's stats I am not too bleeding sure I don't know what what version this game is. Um, yeah, there it is. GT Online version 1.26. And the best mission that I found out that you guys can do is the Los Santos Connection. And of course, putting it on hard. You can do this with friends if you want. You can do it without. Uh, either way, you still earn money. If you do it with a crew, you earn a bit more money. But needs to be the same crew. And, uh, yeah. Show you guys how to do this mission. Give you a few hints and tips as well. Probably your best, um, <clears throat> vehicle that you guys can do would be something that's big, which is why I'm driving my van. You can use the armored Karuma if you have one. Um, I just thought for video reasons, I'll use my van. Just because not many people have the money to afford, like, the Insurgent or the Armored Karuma. No, I can't afford the big vehicles. So, for the purpose, I'm doing it this way. Now, when it says to come to the Ambush Drug Zone, you don't turn right and go down that road. Because you'll activate Grangers. Your best route is to come round... To where the train track is. Speaking of train, hello big girl. So you come around here and pull out your probably your best gun. For me it's a carbine rifle. And try and get them all with headshots if it's possible. I'll just shoot him underneath the car. <laughs> and boxes of course. If anyone doesn't know this already, you shoot the boxes, you get thousand dollars from that one get in the Granger go to the depot and El Bureau Heights now I have a couple of Grangers that will come towards you simple yeah you deal with them one and two there should be another Granger because there's always two comes here but I don't know where he is at the minute he'll show up eventually oh there he is at the end of the road down there uh, I'll let him follow. Or if you're not so generous, plant a sticky bomb. Come on, Granger, come on. Keep coming. And there you go, you're dead. I don't know why my radio keeps turning off. Oh, fucking Keflon. Yes, we speak over 160 languages. Yeah, Keflom. Yeah, it's an international word according to GTA. Freaking idiots. If you're wondering why it's so dark in some places, it's because I have my brightness turned down, so I get more of a realistic color out of it. This is the best side you can attack from, actually, as well. If you have a few problems, just shoot that. Sometimes he'll come around there. Always destroy them just in case. The enemy does have a very good accuracy when it comes to them. Now they're all hiding behind the Granger over there. So, you see the red fuel container behind him? You shoot it. Bang. Instant double kill. Box behind the van. Just try and 
clear out these people if you can. Now you see the Grangers have already started to come. Which is fine. That's perfectly fine. If you need to, there's a health kit hiding inside the container here. But most of the time you probably will not need that. Now there's enemies coming around here. Still alive, huh? You're not alive now. <laughs> that's him dead. And that's him dead. Now you can wait for a minute, if because that will come. You'll get multiple Grangers coming, which is bullshit. I don't know where your buddy is. Where's your buddy at? There you are. Have I weakened and killed you? Yeah, you're dead now. Okay. There's normally a few more in that, depending how bad your luck is. Um, this will happen. I am activating the computer, believe it or not. Oh crap, there's another Granger coming. Okay, so I'm just gonna back out. I've just seen him on the corner of my map. Oh, here comes the rest of them. Better late than never, boys. Damn it. Just die. Thank you. Oh, I'll try this again. I don't know why he does this. It just happens and it's freaking annoying. There we go. So to hack these quickly, when you go to hack content, always look on the bottom line, bottom few lines, because it's always hiding around there. So I'm looking for 8092, but unfortunately it's up at the top today. So always check the bottom two lines and the top two, because they will always help and the numbers will always be hiding there. Today's passcode is Morpheus. All right. And done, and off to the airport for the final section of the battle. Martin will text you, go to the airport and wipe out the crew before they pack up, bring any of the product you may find. If you're wondering how the van is like a two-tone color, it's a paint glitch, I will walk you through on how to do that. Of course, that will be in a later video for the paint glitch. A little bit close. Mm -hmm. On your way to the airport, you may or may not encounter more Grangers, like him. So, if you have a body armor, uh, by all means, slap that on. Wabang. Done. Sorry, I just have to kill that one. Stupid ass AI. See, my body armor is already gone. Oh, wait, no, you can't see. Sorry, my bad. This is why an insurgent or an armored Karuma does come in handy, because they're actually killing me. I'm on red health here. Uh, where's my E. Cola? Crap, I actually don't have any. Okay. P's and Q's will have to do it. Damn it. Coming through, people. Oh, god damn it. I had a Granger waiting right there. I'm just gonna kill him, get him out of the road. Alright, another hint for you guys. Something that will be very, very helpful for you. If you don't have any military vehicles, like a Hydra, Savage, or I can't remember what the other helicopter's called, or a Buzzard, no problem. Just simply come through here. 
and in the middle helipad there will always be a buzzard and there she is just in case you don't feel like you know sniping all the enemies just simple it comes with a buzzard hop in it and away you go come on come on start up Ah, oh, didn't kill it, damn it. Alright, so come from a distance, she can shoot away. Of course, it is very annoying, because when you're selecting your different targets... Okay, if it tells you to shoot the guys in the back right, do not do that because that's where your package is and you don't want to destroy it. So you just simply land the buzzard. And what you want to do is you want to shoot its rear rotor blade out. Ah, my accuracy is terrible. There we go. The reason why I say shoot its rear rotor blade out is because... Once you collect the package, that buzzard will become active and will have an enemy inside to try and kill you. So it's always handy to kill him. There's also going to be, what is it, four boxes in the back here where you can collect more money. Money, money, money. Everyone knows, God, we freaking need him nowadays. I'm just going to pull out my shotgun. There's always two enemies up here. You can get both of them, but normally if you're really unlucky, you'll only get one of them. Click Stecky Bombs if you need them. Get the package. I'm going to do that as quickly as you can. And also, if you had the Grangers before, yep, the pains in the asses are going to show up again. We all know how much Grangers are a fucking pain. And if you have a buddy, this is where it comes in handy again. Always get a buddy, if you have, inside a buzzard to help you out. What you all can also do is, before you come to the hangar, when you collect a buzzard, fly to the end of the runway on the far side. His plane will be sitting there, and you can put a sticky bomb on it, and you can destroy it. Or, what you can do is you can put a sticky bomb on it, go to the hangar, kill all the people, collect the package, and then when he starts flying off, blow him up so you get the XP for killing him. But it's only 25 XP, so it's not really worth it. But you can do that if you want, or you can just simply use the buzzard and blow the hell out of it. Depending on what you want. Where is his plane? Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, you might not want to let him get too far ahead, just in case. Because he really does fly far. Granger. Took his ass out. See, there he is, there in the distance, flying upwards. Of course, the camera can't view him. As soon as I clear this hill, I can go full tilt forward, because I have nothing to avoid. And I'm coming after your ass. This is also why it's handy if you have a Hydra, if you're one of them lucky people. You can also just call in your Hydra. Go chase him down, and bang, bang. Two missiles is all it takes. He will crash land eventually into the military base. You fly back to Madrazo's house. Ooh, that's him dead. Heard the explosion from all the way over here. Now, at the minute... I'm pretty good, I'm pretty set for this mission. There's nothing really more you can do except for just go to Madrazo's house. 
there is a way to get a hidden kind of uh, video at the end of it instead of him just saying, you know, good job or if you didn't do it, I'd kill you. There's a secret one that I've discovered once, but I didn't record it. And he's on about selling his house. So maybe Madrazo's house will come for sale for us one time. Because he normally does this bullshit. Pleasure doing business with you too, Mr. Madrazo. And we're bang, mission is passed. Get 20,000 for that. Blah de blah. You know, nah. I'm just gonna vote that I like it. Get an extra 50 XP. Woo! <laughs> Return back into free roam, and I'll show you guys how much money I really just made from that. World's biggest waste of money right there. Freaking Golden Luxar. God, it's a pain. Okay, now we're back in here. I made in the corner. It says, hang on, I'll just take my recorder out of its hold. Come on. There we go. It says in the corner that I made 28,000 from that mission. So, it's a decent mission. If you have friends, it's also very, very helpful to have your friends in there with you. And, uh,. If you guys want more walkthroughs and interesting missions, be sure to let me know, because I'm always on duty. But anyway, this is Demon Lord. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch us later. Peace out.